Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This year, I'm gonna do something a little different. This isn't just my gift guide for runners, although you can certainly interpret it that way. It's a gift guide for runners, but more like my favorite things. My favorite things that I have used for running over the last year. So I hope this video will give you some ideas of what you could get for a runner in your life, or let's be honest, more likely for you, if you are a runner, which I assume you are, otherwise you really got no business watching this YouTube channel. But let's get started with an item that I think is probably the most perfect gift for another runner in your life. And that's a subscription from the runner box. This is absolutely fantastic and I would be thrilled to receive one of these. So there are a couple different options with the runner box. You could buy it one time for $36. You could buy a six month subscription or a 12 month subscription. The boxes are delivered every two months. So with six months, the recipient would get three, with 12 months, they get six. And of course the price drops the longer your subscription lasts. And for me, this is what Christmas is all about. This is very much like a stocking. And I have had a very hard time waiting to film this video to open this up to show you. Well, actually, I'll be honest. I I have already opened it up, but I opened it up very carefully so not to disturb the beautiful presentation. It comes wrapped in tissue paper with a little sticker holding it together. And then you open it up and there is all kinds of goodies inside. Look at this, we've got a Kodiak cake muffin. Yum. What is this? This is like pure maple syrup. This is ideal for fueling, at least for you Canadians. We have some protein powders. What is this bag? Hashtag PSL, plant-based pumpkin spice bites. Yum. We've got some pain relieving cream. This month, it's also coming with a bottle. And I pulled it out and looked at it, but I didn't really look at it until right now. This is the anti-bottle. It's an 18 ounce bottle that can stand, it can fold, and you can freeze it. Pretty good. That is pretty handy. There's also a lot of food items in there. We have, looks like another protein bar. Ooh. Is that cookie dough? Brownie batter flavor cookie dough? What is this one? Simple Botanic Squares. Chocolate chip honey nut. This is the stuff that runners need. We need this to, to fuel our activities. And it all comes in this beautifully presented box, which I have just ruined. I can't even close the lid. But guys, check out the runner box. Seriously, a perfect gift. All right. Moving right along. Next up is another perfect gift for runners, but it's also one of my favorite things. And that is a pair of Swiftwick socks. Now I've been using Swiftwick socks for a couple of years now. I think I still do have a couple other pairs of socks, but I'm always reaching for Swiftwick socks. And specifically, these are my favorite kind. These are the Vision 6 inch. And I like my socks just a little higher now. And I like the designs that wrap around. They have a 360 degree printing around the part of the sock that goes up your leg. Now, I don't have a discount code for Swiftwick socks, but if you are seeing this in the week around Black Friday, then Swiftwick is offering 25% off of all their socks. So that makes the Vision 6 about $15, which is an absolute steal. I mean, $20 is still a good deal. These are pretty solid socks. If a thin channeled upper, that part on the top of your foot for ventilation and increased breathability. They have a seamless toe box around your toes and that reduces friction and they have arch band support. So it's a little tighter around the arch of your foot, which supports your arch and keeps your socks in place. These are all the things that you want with running socks. You don't want your socks moving around at all. And I haven't thought about it until now, but I have haven't had a blister since I've been using Swiftwick socks. Now that's a little sensational. I don't usually get blisters anyway, but it still stands. No blisters since I've been wearing these. Good stuff. Okay, moving on. The next gift, let's just put them on. They're sunglasses, Torej sunglasses. And I have been wearing nothing but Torej sunglasses for about the last two years or so. And I absolutely love them. I think they are priced incredibly well. They are phenomenally well-made. They all come with a nice hard carry case with a cleaning cloth and a little cord to put around your neck if you want it. Cords from mine are still left in the case. I've never used them because we got to protect our eyes. And at least for me, I found that Torej is a high quality product for not a lot of money. I cannot imagine spending $100, $200 on sunglasses like I've done at other stages in my life. These are absolutely fine. And and, and I do have a discount code for Torres sunglasses. So I will put that in the show notes below and it will give you 15% off at torres.com. Now here's a little side note. You can buy Torres sunglasses on Amazon. Now they don't have all the same sunglasses on Amazon that they do on torres.com, but they are a little cheaper on Amazon. But definitely check out both and see what works best for you. However, my code only works on torres.com, so keep that in mind. Next up is a pretty good gift because mm, I don't know. I think if anyone received these, they would be really happy. And I know it's getting a little expensive, but these Kane Revive Active Recovery Shoes are worth their weight in gold. And look, I know they look funny. They're an injection molded rubber. That's not really rubber, they're made from sugar cane. So they are sustainably made. And these will run you $70 from Kane. I'm sorry, I don't have a discount code, but $70, in my opinion, it's money well spent. Now I wear these around my house 
every single day. These are my inside shoes. I've got a lot of tile in the house, so it's a hard surface. And when I put these on, they just kind of massage my feet and make me feel better, especially after these long runs. So these were designed with the sports podiatrist Dan Geller. They do have a 10 millimeter drop. And I know a lot of you don't like a drop that high in your running shoes, but 10 millimeter drop reduces strain on your Achilles, which is something we can all get behind when we're recovering. And they do have a expanded toe box, which accommodates post-run swelling. There are little nodes on the inside, which feel like a massage against the sole of your foot. There's a dual density midsole. There is a lot of arch support on the inside. And when you combine all that stuff, it's just a real treat for your feet. Seriously, I think this is the most surprising thing that I have adopted this year. And I would say that I wear these more than any other pair of shoes because I wear them every day when I'm at home. All my other running shoes, I rotate. These are my only pair of revives. So I have to wear them every day. And I think this colorway is just spot on. Oh, one more thing. See this little pull tab on the back? It's orange. Kane also sends you with this nice little bag. And if you open it up, they give you a couple other color options for your pull tabs on the back. And it's details like this that are very, very silly, but I absolutely love it. Anyway, these are the Kane Revives, $70. Again, I think this is money well spent. Pick yourself up a pair. I promise you, you're gonna love them. Okay, moving right along. Okay, that wasn't as quick as it may have seemed to you. I actually had to put my cane shoes right back on my feet as I'm sitting here. I wasn't joking, I wear them all the time. Okay, the next item I think is good for pretty much any runner because we've got to be safe. And that is the Biolite Headlamp 425. The 425 is because it lights up to 425 lumens. Now I do have a review video of this on my channel and I'll place a link to it up there. Now there were several other headlamps that were released with the 425. But the 425, middle of the road. Now the headlamp 425 does have a front light and a back light. So you're gonna be safe from all directions. It does cost $59.95 from BioLite and it only weighs 78 grams. It has a 1000 milliamp hour battery and it will last 60 hours on low or four hours on high, which is fantastic battery life. We have a USB charging port right in the back. And I think the best thing about this, if you wanna take this out for a really long effort, is that it does have pass-through charging, so continuous charging. It does come with a very long cord. And when you plug this in to the back of your headlamp, Lamp. you can run it down into your pack or a pocket somewhere in the back and you can plug the other end into a battery pack and when you plug it into a battery pack you have just extended the runtime of this indefinitely which is pretty good if you need one headlamp for a really long event now i found that i'm using the 425 most days on my very early runs when i'm out in the dark and i like how balanced it is and i'm gonna hold this up so you can see just how thin the front light is it has an articulating light so you can move it forward so you can point at the ground or you can point it out further in front of you it has a spotlight it has a floodlight it has a flicker in light, which I think is one of those things that no one really ever uses because it's very annoying to run with a flicker in light, but still it's on there. Now, when we come around to the back, the flicker in light is a different story. You can either turn it on and have a solid red light, or you can press twice and it will start blinking. This is usually the setting I have it on when I'm out for a run, just so people coming up behind me can see. It does have this moisture wicking smart fabric, which is just super comfortable on top of my head. I love it. For 60 bucks, the BioLite Headlamp 425 is a really good deal. This is the headlamp that I grab on most mornings. All right, guys, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Next up, is hydration and if you're anything like me you probably accumulate a lot of bottles like over the years bottles just kind of find their way but this one this is the nathan speed draw plus handheld bottle and this is the bottle that i grab before any other bottle look how small it is it's still 18 ounces in there and it's got this nice pocket so i can fit my phone in here i generally don't run with my phone in this pocket but i will put gels in there you know i usually run with a camera so if i want to take the camera off the end of the selfie stick i will usually keep it in there or if i bring two cameras i'll put the second one in the pocket and the speed draw bottle does come with this race cap, which gives you a little burst of water. It's absolutely perfect. And it doesn't leak when you put it upside down. You don't have to put your teeth on it and pull a bit out. You put it in your mouth, squeeze the bottle or suck, and you get the water. Just like we like. And of course, for me, living in Florida, I have to have a double wall layer just to keep the liquid cooler. Nathan says that this double wall layer will keep liquids cooler for 20% longer, which I'll take it. I do like this adjustable hand strap. All you do is cinch it down and it stays in place. You don't even have to think about holding onto it. It just stays on your hand just like that. Overall, this is a pretty solid bottle. In fact, I think this made my list last year. That's how much I love it. Oh, and the Nathan Speed Draw bottle will cost you $37. And I'll put a link to it in the show notes below. All right, next up. Okay, we had a little bit of hydration if you're going out for a shorter run, but if you're going out for a longer effort or perhaps a race, my favorite thing is the Bronco Race Vest by Ultra Aspire. Now I have reviewed this vest on my channel. I will put a link to it somewhere up here and I'll put a link to the video in the show notes below. Guys, I've got to tell you, since I received the Bronco Race Vest, I have not grabbed 
any of my other vests. This thing is an absolute dream to run in. It sits very high up on your body and it's very tight. Now you might think tight is a bad thing. In this case, it is absolutely wonderful. This vest actually becomes part of your body. Like when I breathe, I can feel the vest expand with me and then shrink back when I breathe out. It has a five liter capacity, so it's not enormous, but I found it to be absolutely perfect for everything that I do. Now the best part of this vest is that it has seven pockets and all seven pockets are accessible when it's on your body. We have these front two pockets on each side and my favorite pockets are right on the side. These are the saddlebags. See them down here? And this is a deceptively big pocket. You can put your nutrition, you can put bars in here. I found that when I'm out using this, I will usually put an extra camera in the side. And let's come around to the back of the vest. We can see this foam piece that kind of sticks out just a little bit. It holds out from right behind your neck. So when you put your hand behind, the top is slightly open and it guides you inside. It's very easy to grab everything that's right behind you just by reaching down over your back. And for me, for my longer runs when I'm out running around the neighborhood or doing a race, I am obviously filming it. I will have a camera on a selfie stick and I will just stick the camera in the bottom with the selfie stick sticking up and then I can just grab it and pull it out, go to town, filming my runs. And the Bronco Race Fest will cost you about $130, $129.95. It is a phenomenal deal. It doesn't come with bottles so you're going to have to buy them separately but Ultra Spire does sell some soft flasks which fit beautifully inside. Definitely my favorite vest at the moment. All right, next up we have the Roll Recovery R8. Plus. And guys, when I got this thing, I wasn't sure about it. But I have to tell you that this has become my favorite thing. And I don't know about you, but I often struggle to foam roll. Even using a massage gun is difficult. But for some reason, I have no problem using the R8 Plus. So I'm sure you have seen this for the last couple years. Roll recovery has just kept making it better and better as the years go by. And basically, we've got these two rollers and you put it over your leg and you can roll it up and down. You can do your calves, you can do your quads, you can put it on your arms, do your forearms, come up to your biceps. It's just very handy and very easy to do. But it's called the Roll Recovery Plus because right up here we have a tension dial. So perhaps you like it to grab your legs a little stronger. You just turn this to the right. It tightens the springs and it makes the tension a little higher. If it's too much for you for certain parts of your body that need to be treated with a little more care, you can just turn the dial to the left. It makes it a little looser. The tension dial on the top is incredibly useful to have. This is another one of those things, much like those Kane Revive Recovery Shoes that I use every day. The Roll Recovery R8 treats my body right and it is an FDA registered medical device so take that for what it's worth. Now look this is not cheap this is something that you're probably gonna buy for yourself rather than buy for somebody else it's $169. Now Roll Recovery does sell the regular R8 not the R8 plus with the tension dial so you can save a little money by buying that one but in my opinion I think the little bit of money that you are saving by buying the R8 you may as well get the R8 plus. This tension dial is absolutely fantastic. Yeah I'm gonna do this as soon as I turn off the camera. All right, my next favorite thing has been my favorite thing for at least a couple of years. Well, not the actual thing itself, but the brand. And we're talking about Path Projects. And Path Projects has been my go-to for running gear for years. And they produce outstanding products. Now I've got to tell you, they're not the least expensive company out there, but I've had the same shorts from Path Projects for years. And I know I'm talking about shorts and holding up hats, but I love their hats too. My favorites are the Rainier cap. You can see this, it's like a trucker hat with a big front to it. And this is the Muir cap. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got these machine printed holes all around the top, which keeps my head nice and cool in the summertime. Plus Talk about shorts for just a second. Path Project shorts. I brought one pair out of my closet with me to show you guys. And this is the Sykes AT 5 inch. And these are super light. Now these aren't gonna be for everyone because I live in Florida. I do like a very light pair of shorts. And I will usually wear these on my workout days just because they are so light. They just feel really good on me. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing about Path Projects, Path Project shorts don't have liners. At least they don't have liners that are attached to the shorts like traditional running shorts. You buy a pair of shorts like these Sykes AT 5 inch, you buy a base layer, which is ultimately fancy running underwear, pull the base layer on, pull these shorts over it, and you have the most comfortable running get up I have ever felt. But more importantly, Ever since I've been wearing Path Projects shorts and base layers, I don't get chafing. I don't know what it was about having that liner inside the shorts. Getting chafing was an absolute nightmare and the inside of my legs would get chafed. Anyway, you all know what chafing is. I'm not gonna go into it. What I'm saying is the Path Project shorts are absolutely worth every penny that you'll spend. And I challenge you to find anyone that has worn Path Projects and doesn't feel the same way. These Sykes AT 5 inch are $48. I also like the Graves PX 7 inch. They're a little longer, they're a little more heavy duty. Those are $49, so we're looking at about $50 for a pair of shorts. Not cheap, 
But again, these shorts have lasted me for years. Money well spent, my friends. Here's what I want from you. First of all, if you have made it this far in the video, why don't you put the shorts emoji in the comments below, just so I know who stayed all the way to the end. And the next thing I want from you is to know what your best gift would be as a runner. Like if someone was gonna give you a gift as a runner, what would you choose? Now I think about it, that's a pretty silly question because you're probably gonna say like a $300 pair of shoes or a pair of compression boots that cost like $1,000. But still, I wanna hear, what would be your best running gift? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and if you do have one particular item that you have loved over the last year, like your favorite running thing, I'd also like to know that. Guys, thanks again. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. Happy holidays. This has been my runner's gift guide and Matt's favorite running things. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.